To create a partition, navigate to the Configuration pane within the Administration station. Select Partition from the drop-down menu, then click New. Only system administrators or operators with System All privileges can create a partition. Once the partition editor opens, enter a partition name and optionally a description. Once the partition is created, the Details tab will display objects that are part of this partition and the Template Details tab will display any templates that have been created for this partition. The Application Server tab identifies the Secure 9000 server responsible for administering the partition. On a standalone Secure 9000 server, this tab shows the system on which the Secure 9000 is installed. By clicking Save and Close, the partition will now be created. As a result, a new all privilege for that partition is created. Similarly, new video, hardware and general purpose interface folders are automatically created for this partition. The new object partition drop-down list includes all partitions for which the current operator has at least read permissions. Whichever partition is selected as the new object partition, this will be the partition newly created objects are added to. Operators can only change the partition of an object if they have the privileges that give them the following permissions. To change partition for the object class within that partition, to add new for the object class in the target partition, to access any children associated with the object both in source partition and target partition. For objects in hardware or video trees, simply drag the desired object to a folder in another partition. Please note, an iStar controller cannot be dragged to another partition folder, only the cluster of which it is a member. For objects not in hardware or video trees, the operator must right-click the object and select Change Partition from the Contacts menu. From here, the operator can choose the desired partition to move the object to. To modify a partition, navigate to the partition from the configuration pane, right click the selected partition and select edit from the contacts menu. From here the operator can edit the partition details and click save and close when complete. The details tab now displays information on the objects associated with this partition. Before deleting a partition, the operator must change the partition of or delete any of the objects in this list as well as any templates that have been added. Please note that you do not need to delete the partition's full privilege that was created as the system will automatically delete this when the partition is deleted. However, this privilege cannot be assigned to any operators in order for it to be deleted. The operator must now begin the process of removing all objects from the partition. Since the video and general purpose folders for the Middle East partition have no objects, the operator can simply navigate to these panes, locate the folders for this partition, right click and select delete. However, as the hardware folder contains an APC COM port, the object must be moved or deleted. In this case, the operator right clicks the object and selects delete from the contacts menu. Now the hardware folder for this partition can be deleted. Please note that when a cluster in a partition is deleted but not the controllers in it, the controllers are put in an unassigned folder in the hardware tree. The Middle East partition currently has a document object assigned to it and therefore this must be deleted or relocated in order to delete this partition. Remember to ensure that the partition to be deleted cannot be the currently selected new object partition. Now that the partition is empty, the operator can navigate to the partition, right click and select delete. A confirmation message will ensure the partition was successfully deleted.